Hello YouTube, this is Andy from Toman. I am at NAM 2019 and I am with Mr. Walter Holland who's going to talk to us about preserving the legacy of Mr. Bob Moog. What is this huge beast behind us? Okay, so this is a piece of a museum quality piece, really. And it's an old historic synthesizer that was built in the very early days of Bob Moog's company. In fact, things like this matrix mixer and uh, this fixed filter bank, these are actually Bob's hand-built prototypes. I mean, those came out of his workshop. They're not even labeled or, they were very, very early. We call them pre-production pieces. Um, so this synthesizer was purchased in the early 60s by um, Patrick Gleason, who owned a very famous studio in San Francisco called Different Fur. Later, he sold it to Don Preston, who was, of course, in the Mothers of Invention. And Don Preston used this machine to do the soundtrack for Apocalypse Now. And then after that, uh, he sold it to me. And I used it when I was with the band Amber Root. And then I used it on all my solo records. And for the past, I would say, at least 30 years, I've been preserving and maintaining it and trying to keep that bit of history alive. It looks amazing. It looks pretty retro and very, very cool. And it is a piece of music history. Exactly. And from what you've told me, that, that is a pretty important piece of kit right now. Yep. Um, we're going to get Steve to play it. Is that correct? Yes, that's right. We, Steve Leonard, former keyboard player from the Cretones. So, a big thank you to Steve for giving us the demo there. Walter, can you tell us something about the future of this piece of history? Well, obviously, it's had a very storied past, and I'm doing everything I can to make sure that continues. And I'm hoping that it will find its way into an excellent museum sometime soon. Oh, sounds exciting. Um, thank you so much for watching this. This is Andy and Walter at NAM 2019. Check out some more videos from the Tolman channel, and I will see you in one of those other videos. Bye-bye.